Okay, so now we're going to talk about the Golgi tendon organs. Um, so again, I'm going to draw out a muscle fiber. Okay, so we've got the, the muscle fibers, the myofibrils. Remember, we have the muscle spindles uh, in the middle, okay, and the ends obviously contain actin and myosin. Now, we're also going to have the muscle attached to a tendon. <clears throat> and the tendon then in turn attaches uh, to the bone. So the tendon consists of connective tissue, okay, um, and it also contains within, within this muscle tendon complex, we have the GTO, the Golgi tendon organ. Okay, now the Golgi tendon organ detects the tension that the muscle generates, particularly when it's contracting. Okay, so when, when the muscle contracts, it's exerting a force through the tendon to the bone, and the Golgi tendon organ is detecting that force. So it gives us a sense of heaviness in, in the body. So if I was to pick up a dumbbell, the reason why I know that dumbbell is heavy is because the Golgi tendon organ is sending information back to the brain. The brain is able to then interpret that um, and then able to, and then sends a, an effector signal to the muscle uh, to um, vary the, the contraction. <clears throat> so essentially, the Golgi tendon organ is detecting tension in muscle tendon complex, okay, which we've got just here. So the Golgi tendon organ is very important because when there is increased tension in the muscles, what it will actually do is send a, 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 a signal, okay, so it will, it, will sense, it will sense that there is increased tension going through the, the complex. It will send an inhibitory signal, signal to the alpha motor neuron, so remember, we had the, uh, the alpha motor neuron and the motor end plates here, which are innervating the skeletal muscle fiber. It will send uh, a signal, and again, in the spinal cord, we've got the interneuron. The reason I'm writing it again is repetition will ho hopefully help you uh, understand uh, this. So in, in the spinal cord, we have interneurons which connect afferent signals to efferent signals. So essentially what will happen is the Golgi tendon organ will send uh, an afferent signal uh, to the spinal cord. Uh, it will connect, there'll be an interneuron connecting the afferent signal to the efferent signal. Uh, and then the alpha motor neuron will inhibit the skeletal muscle fiber and you'll get a, 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 a relengthening of the muscle, a relaxation of the muscle and a decrease in the tension in the Golgi tendon complex. Now, generally you hear sometimes about uh, people performing amazing human feats. So, you know, you've got somebody trapped underneath a car and somebody comes along and they just lift that car clean off the ground. Now, normally the, the purpose of the Golgi tendon organ is to protect us from developing unnecessary tension uh, through, the, through the muscle and the bone uh, uh, in, uh, joint, uh, sorry, connection. Uh, but in those situations where it's a life and death situation, we do have the ability to temporarily inhibit uh, the Golgi tendon organ um, uh, reflex action so that we can actually perform superhuman uh, 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 feats of strength. So, but in, in general terms, the Golgi tendon organ is very much uh, a protective mechanism. It ensures that uh, unless un abnormal forces are not transferred to, to the bone. Okay, where you might get an increased risk of uh, deformation and damage. So this is how the muscle spindle and Golgi tendon organ work. Now, both of these contribute to a term called proprioception, okay? So I'm gonna just write that here. Um, we can get rid of, we can get rid of this, get rid of that as well for the moment, and I'll put down a term proprioception.